about 12 by 12 and I wasn't quite clear like how it would benefit me because I had a ton of drafts that were submission ready and that was what you had helped me with, Julie. You had talked to me about the fact that as a gold member that I would be able to submit to agents. And so that was very appealing to me because my really big goal for that year was to land an agent and sell a book. So I got the agent part that year, but also the community part, the forum, the Facebook group, that was a big part of why I joined as well. I have this huge community of people. (laughs) It's amazing. We meet each other face-to-face sometimes at SCBWI events. Last year, I think there were 25 of us or something who met each other there. We have this great online community, but also we meet each other face-to-face. And there's the day-to-day support, cheering each other on and celebrating successes and cheering people up when they get a rejection. And that has all been really helpful for me. I'm still a slow writer. I'm, I've never written 12 drafts. That's one of the biggest things I tell people who consider joining is you don't have to write 12. That was the initial challenge, but I feel like the community part for me is the much bigger benefit. The supportiveness between Marcy's dance parties on Fridays to cheering each other on. People are genuinely happy for each other when we are finding successes. and helping each other through the bad days when you're feeling really low. Yes, I do write more because I'm part of 12 by 12, but for me, that's not the biggest benefit of it. It's the sense of community and support that goes along with it. And of course, the forum now, I'm facilitating a book group in there. We're having really terrific discussion in there about craft books and books about writing. It started by signing with my agent, Jill Corcoran, which happened as a result of 12 by 12. I had submitted to her in March of 2014. I had three agents I was sort of talking to all at the same time. I signed with Jill at the beginning of May 2014. We went on submission and we had some great feedback on my manuscript. It didn't sell. Went out a little bit with a second manuscript and was we weren't getting a lot of nibbles on it. I told Jill about this other idea that I had. So for the bulk of 2015, I was working on that. It was a research heavy book. The book is called Flying Deep and it focuses on piloting of Alvin, which is a deep sea submersible. And I knew I was going to get to go inside Alvin in August. So I did that, revise, 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 do more work, and we went on submission in November. And then had some revise and resubmit requests, and then an entirely different editor offered, that's Karen Boss from Charles Bridge, and she's awesome, and I love working with her. So that's my first book, which is now with the illustrator, but but the reason I said it feels weird to say it's a success story is I'm on submission, and I got a rejection last week. I got my first advance check on Tuesday, I think. And then I got a rejection the day after. (laughs) It's like, oh, keep me grounded. (laughs) 